Reverend Earl Carroll says police have been following and harassing him ever since he was accused of taking money from the committee to stop the missing children's murders. He was accused by one of the parents four months ago. Carroll filed suit over what he claims is police harassment. Reverend Carroll says police have told him they're not following him, so today, to prove his point, he asked us to follow him and see what the police are doing. It didn't take long to see Reverend Carroll was being followed. Reverend Carroll is the one in the black hat and coat. He was on his way to catch a bus. This man, an undercover policeman, started following him. The policeman was joined by still another policeman at the bus stop. Carroll boarded the bus and so did the other two men. As we followed the bus, an undercover police officer stopped us and wanted to know what we were doing. Since we had broken no law, he couldn't keep us. When we caught up to Reverend Carroll again, he was walking up Candler Road. The two men who had been on the bus with him were still on his tail. Thinking he was outside Atlanta jurisdiction, he called DeKalb County Police to complain about the police harassment. Well, I got some folks following me. Yes, ma'am, and I want to know why they're following me. Oh, they're digging holes. They, 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 they digging holes. So it was the Atlanta Police Department this time. If there had been some improprieties by now, I think they would have had me locked up. But what I'm concerned about, if you've got something against me, lock me up, but don't harass me. Reverend Carroll didn't learn anything new from the police today. They didn't say anything to me either. But some of Reverend Carroll's questions may be answered next Thursday when he has his day in court against the Atlanta Police Department. Bob Moore, Action News.